Well, it all happened quite by chance, actually. Um, I was suffering from something called a frozen shoulder and I couldn't sleep for months and months. And I woke up one night about 3 a.m., needed a book to read, scooped up some books at random, and one of them was uh, a mountaineering memoir, non-fiction, and it just hit me, set a ghost story up a mountain. It, well, it's 1935, India, twilight of the British Empire, as you say, golden age of mountaineering. Uh, Stephen, my hero, is on an expedition um, to the Himalayas with four other Brits. As they climb higher, higher um, things begin to happen that he can't explain. Then he finds himself alone on the mountain, or is he alone? Um, is what he's experiencing just a product of the altitude, the thin air, or is the mountain haunted? Fairly early on, well, even at university, I tried to write. Um, I'd done the usual thing of, you know, thinking it was easy, getting rejected several times and thinking, okay, there's more to this. I've been there for, for all of the recordings of the audios. I mean, I have to say, you know, I, I, I think the view that the, the role of the author at, at a recording of the audio is, is to be there for, for questions of pronunciation and to make the tea. Yeah. You stay in the background. Um, but no, it was, it was brilliant because there are always questions and, and sometimes they say, well, you know, what were you getting at here or am I reading this right? 